Okay, hi, hello, welcome to the Q&A. I know this is uh, kind of late, we apologize. We have uh, normal lives to get ahead of. Now before you say voice reveal, this isn't my actual voice, cause uh, gay. You know. But anyway, uh, welcome to the Q&A. My name is Jinx. Before we begin, um, I would just like to say Void is going to uh, answer some questions that he feels like people were already going to ask. So without further ado, let's begin. What is Void's gender? Well, he goes by he, him, or they, them. Uh, he's gender fluid, meaning he goes by all pronouns, but he usually likes to go by he, him, or they, them. What is Void's sexuality? Oh, well, Void's sexuality is just flat out gay now. Asexual. Mostly gay. <laughs> How long has Void been drawing? Six to seven years. Wait, what? Wait, hold the fuck. What? Really? Oh, shit. Next, we have what type of content does Void upload? Recently, they've been uploading a couple of lore videos, um, or just lore dumps. Uh, Void loves making lore and stories, so most of the videos that they make have some of some sort of lore. Plus, uh, they love to include subscribers, so sub if you want to be a part of some of the content. Another question is why don't they want to do a voice or face reveal? Well, uh, Void's adding this because some people don't know their boundaries. And they're also adding the fact that they're not comfortable with people knowing what they look or sound like. No one really hears their voice because they don't like their voice, and uh, you guys just don't need to know what they sound like. So, don't expect a voice or a face reveal anytime soon, because, you know, they'd rather just keep it to themselves. Now, on to the question from Void's lovely subscribers. First question is from Lloyd. When did you start playing rhythm games before Funky Friday? Well, Rotter acts the same of, uh, you know, when they started playing uh, Funky Friday, which will be answered here as well. Believe it or not, their first ever rhythm game was actually Funky Friday. They obviously played FNF first in December of, you know, 2020, and then they started playing uh, Funky Friday. Though their oldest screenshot of the game is from July of 2021, apparently they got a badge from an extension on Roblox. So technically they've been playing, well, from what it says here, they've been playing Funky Friday specifically since April 27th, 2021. Kip here asked, uh, why do you hack? Well, they just have a good gaming chair. Just get good at the game. Now, Mod Dad asks, who is your favorite internet parent and why is it me? Well, out of all 20 that they've had, you've been more of a father to them than their own father, to be honest. And that's sort of sad to admit. What program do you use for recordings and editing? CapCut, OBS, but OBS sucks at quality. So, yeah, I can I can agree with them on that one. OBS kind of sucks at quality. Which mod slash person made you in into FNF or what got you into FNF? I want to assume you meant what mod made you get into FNF, which to answer that, it was mainly Garcelio's mod. Understandable. Do you like ham? Yes. <laughs> yes, they do. Am I a pro? No. How did you grow so fast? Live streams. Just live streams. Lucky bastard. It's one thing you want the most right now. A hug. IRL. Depressing. I know, but seriously, I need a human interaction. Lol. If you want a less depressing answer, uh, I don't know. I don't really want anything besides fucking video games. I can play with you. Yeet. Yet. Screams. Don't actually scream. Yeah, so yeah, I'm stuck. Fuck you, I am gonna scream. Ah! If you could make a game, what kind of game would it be genre-wise? Uh, well, I would love to create a dating sim for a fucking joke, but I have talked about creating my own fighting game. Sort of a mix like Final Fantasy XIV, Smash Bros, and the one game Ruby slash Persona has, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Yeah, it is crazy. It's Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Sort of a fighting story-based game. Maybe Legos would have been a better way to describe it as the Lego games do what I'm thinking of, but yeah. Oh, I get you. Xbox or PlayStation? I own both and rarely play on them. Mobile? I'm not fucking serious. That's a lie. 
When is your VTuber debut? When I die! <laughs> Favorite genre of game? Any though I'm a bitch when it comes to horror. Same! Yeah, I still torture myself. If you watch anime, what's your favorite anime? Uh, I like Boku no Hero Academia. Though I miss the old ones I watched when I was younger, like Fairy Tale and such. Nice! Now, uh, Crystalite asks, who is your favorite Funky Friday player slash YouTuber? Well, the main reason why they're in the community is due to Fanatical Light. They were a big inspiration to them, and so, it would be them. Average FNF user asks, who or what got you into FNF? Uh, they saw it randomly on YouTube, and plus, some of their friends were talking about it, so they decided to give it a try. Now, Bill here asks, is there going to be more lore or different game content? The answer is, yes. Now, Amazon here asks, when did Void and I meet? This basically circles back to Fanatical Light. Long story short, um, if you don't watch their content, they made something regarding a, them announcing a small group called Kens from Fanatica, which is basically a small group where you just play video games and relax with each other. I got accepted uh, before Void did in October. Void got accepted a month after I did. We didn't talk at first, uh, besides the fact that they drew me some things, and uh, we soon grew closer due to someone we used to be friends with, and eventually we just kind of connected. We've been dating since December 30th of 2021. We're t we've been together for a year, so. All right, next question is from Plasma, and they ask, what other games do you play on Roblox except for Funky Friday? Um, they play FMB, Evade, Anime Battlegrounds, Vibe Cafe, Those Who Remain, some different roleplay games such as Kingdom Life 2, work at a pizza place, though it's kind of rare, and The Experiment. Kip here asked, why aren't you among us? <clears throat> Why aren't you? Next, Mod Dad again. They ask, all right, if you could have any kind of Pop-Tart flavor, what would it be? Uh, basically the edgiest fucking flavor, which is basically brown sugar. If you eat brown sugar, you're edgy as hell and you have no taste. But anyway, it would be that. Okay, this next question was asked by two people and they're the same, but Cookie Dough asks, uh, do you ever plan to release a full lore comic or story? of your characters um basically yes that is the plan they're currently in uh progress of playing uh D, &D which is dungeons and dragons uh basically for voids lore to both test how it works and to see if it makes any sense with some help of uh their friends and once that's done they'll make a legitimate comic who knows they may uh may be dubbed over by yours truly anyway moving on all right, Bill here asks, will you ever make any different content other than Roblox? That's the plan, because uh, Funky Friday sucks right now. Uh, yeah. Next up is Dues. Are you an, uh, I mean, are you good at Roblox? And uh, I'm pretty sure they were going to ask uh, if they were an ooh boy or something, because if so, uh, bruh. And also, how the fuck do you tell if you're good at Roblox? Which game do you want me to say I'm good at? Next up is Krong, and they're basically asking, if you can live anywhere, where would it be? And uh, would you live in a house or something like an apartment? Uh, an apartment starting out, and then a house. I sort of want to move in with uh, Jinx, which is me. Uh, and I'm very open to it, but they're not allowed to move out until they have a stable income and such. So, yeah. All right, Cookie Dough asks, will you randomize drawing people because uh, they love their art? And uh, yes, they've been meaning to make a video asking their YouTube subs to give their Roblox avatars, but haven't gotten around to it, so they've been doing Discord members first. And Shy Girl asks, what's your favorite snack or food? Snacks that are basically uh, goldfish or chips of any kind. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's it's tossy for whatever. And they asked, "Do this is a nice looking gun right here? Uh, it's got a bullet with your name on it." But anyway, that's the end of the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you later.